I'm a political prisoner inside of these United States. I'm a political prisoner, and this is who I am. Baltimore County Cor Department of Corrections, released inmate, temporary ID. When I was released from prison, or the Baltimore County Detention Center, I didn't have nothing. I didn't even have a coat on my back. I just had what I went to jail with. I didn't have a nickel, not a dime, not a penny. Not nothing. All right? It says, Dwayne G. Davis, 23-3-11, date issued. All right? 12-26-59 was my date of birth. I'm five foot three, brown eyes, and I'm white. So when y'all call me a racist, and y'all say that I'm about race baiting, dude, I'm white. Look at it twice. My birth certificate says I'm white. I've been telling y'all I'm white. I'm the blackest white man you know, and the whitest black man you ever gonna see. But one thing I ain't, I'm not a terrorist. I'm not a terrorist. I just terrorize you with the truth about Governor O'Malley. Y'all sent me to jail and labeled me a terrorist because I was exposing Governor O'Malley. This was the case that I had against Governor O'Malley, and I filed it in December 2010. I had till February the 24th to get my evidence to have everything taken in front of the grand jury. That's the case number, and it exposed Governor O'Malley and the corruption in this state. It's a Dred Scott decision. Blacks have no rights in which white people respect. I'm a caterer, and I've been in all your houses. It was about the state of Maryland, Bank of America, SunTrust Bank, and brother insurance. It was about your predatory lending. It was about your racist practices. So this is what I did. I used the Constitution on you. <clears throat> Congress shall make no laws respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the freedom exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or oppress or the right of the people to peaceably assemble and petition the government to redress issues. That's the Constitution, y'all. That's the Constitution of the United States. That's what we're supposed to be governed by. But our governor don't go by the rules. Constitution Amendment Number Four. All right, read it. The right for the people to be secure in their property, persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches seizures should not be violated and no warrant shall be issued upon the probable cause supported by the oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person's things to be seized number four nine number five notes person shall be held to answer for capital or otherwise infamous crime on a presentment of indictment of a grand jury except in cases arising the land naval forces or in a, mil a mil militia when the actual service is at wartime public danger nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy i was charged with the same crime twice once in illinois and once in maryland y'all ran with this y'all violated your own laws amendment number six all criminal prosecutions sh shall enjoy the right to a speedy trial i was denied my right to trial I was denied my right to trial in Illinois, and I was denied my right to trial in Maryland concerning Jake Davis. I was supposed to have a trial by jury. I was supposed to have a trial by jury in Illinois. You held me in Illinois for 186 days. I have a jailhouse diary that shows how you tortured me, how you treated me. I pleaded guilty on June 3rd, and I took back my guilty plea on June the 9th, which is my right under Illinois law. And I'm still looking for a trial. I'm looking for that evidence I'm looking for that evidence that you took from me. Right number seven. The suit in suits of common law with the value of controversy to exceed twenty dollars, the right to trial by jury shall be prevailed. I asked for a jury trial on my case against Jake and Governor O'Malley. That case against Governor O'Malley that case against Governor O'Malley was for fifty four million dollars. It was one of the largest lawsuits this state would have ever seen. It was a class action lawsuit, and Governor O'Malley know all about it. Number eight, excessive bail should not be required, nor excessive fines, imprisonment, or cruel and unusual punishment. Dude, y'all beat me. Y'all denied me water. Y'all denied me food. 
You denied me access to the court. You raised my bail up. I didn't have a bail, and I didn't commit no crime. You did it in both states. So you're practicing the same injustices. It's like Dred Scott. Blacks have no rights in which white people respect. But you got to respect your own laws. Amendment number 11. Judicial power of the United States should not be construed to extend to any suits in law or equity, commerce, and or proceed against or one of the United States by citizens or another state or citizens are subject to foreign states. That's the Dred Scott decision. I'm a free man in one state and I'm a slave in another. But in both states, y'all violated my rights because blacks have no rights. I was denied access to the court to sue for my property. You denied me access to sue Governor O'Malley because if I'd have sued Governor O'Malley, he wouldn't have never been governor. If I'd have sued Governor O'Malley, he'd be in jail like Blagojevich, like Jesse Jackson Jr. Because, O'Gav because Governor O'Malley has insulated himself with lawyers, public defenders, state's attorneys, and judges, and politicians, he has insulated himself from being prosecuted. But the Constitution says, I can prosecute him. 13th Amendment, 14th Amendment. It's the Constitution. We the people. So this is what we gonna do. The Constitution says my right to property. That's the clerk. That's the clerk's office. My right to property. On September the 13th, 2011, 9.15 a.m., they were supposed to get my truck. It says right here, the entire contents of the defendant's vehicle, the 1999 Chevy Suburban truck, registration number, all right, date of birth, VIN number, all right, that means you're supposed to give me my truck, my computer, and all the film I got exposing Governor O'Malley and his play-to-play -play politics and his politicians that are involved in it. Y'all thought I was playing. I was dead serious. So I filed charges. I'm asking to file charges with the Baltimore City Police Department. I'm asking Commissioner Davis, which was the Anne Arundel Police Chief when Leopold got charged. I want you to charge Governor O'Malley and his 52 politicians with corruption, abuses of power, malice prosecution, barratry, and embezzlement. And this is the case right here. District Court of Maryland, Baltimore County. That's the case. Like I said, you denied me access to the court. See that? So I know my law. A motion to squash the subpoenas. I subpoenaed all these individuals. I subpoenaed the controller. All right? I want a audit. And these are the people that y'all protecting. Because like I said, I'm going to dismantle the master's house and I'm going to use the master's tools. I'm going to use the law, the videos, and the camera to do what I do to you. These are the people that need to be investigated and need to testify. Because when they start testifying, it's going to be like Operation Greylord. O'Malley's whole machine is going to go down. Adam May from WJZ, Kai Jackson, that's why when you see me, you see them running. Because they have full knowledge of this. Sheriff Fisher, Judge Turnbull, when you see Malcolm Ruff, ask him about it. Frank Conway did, but Frank Conway destroyed, like, all the evidence for the trial. Ain't nothing in my file no more. Barry Sims will tell you I've been doing this for the longest, all right? Frederick Belfield will tell you. Jack Young, Bill Henry, Carl Stokes. Dog, y'all all part of O'Malley's machine. That's why y'all not going to prosecute him. That's why y'all not going to give me my damn court. But I named all of you. So there's no misunderstandings about nothing I say I do. McFadden. We came to your office and handed you the minority report. Mikulski, we've been to Senate and the Congress. We've been to Ruppersberger's office. Everybody here that you see has evidence that exposes Governor O'Malley for the play-to-play -play politics that he has. It exposes O'Malley for the zero tolerance in the prison industry and mass incarceration. My whole thing was about mass incarceration. My whole thing was about inmates and the rights of inmates. We refugees. We nomads. We have no rights. So like I said, prosecute Governor O'Malley, charge him with crimes, the same way that you did Blagojevich, the same way you did Jesse Jackson, because I'm going to stay in y'all's, I'm going to stay in your face. Ain't nothing you can do to stop me.